Welcome to Chris's Storytelling Corner. My name is Christopher Moldong and I am an author. Today I will read pages 8 to 10 of my short story, The Orthodox Clash. Next week I will read pages 11 to 16 which will finish the story and have a manga review for UQ Holder volumes uh, 1 to 3. You can check out my author's website at www.chrismoldon.com. You can buy my first novel, a fantasy adventure called The Mustard Prince in the Condiment Kingdom for $4.99. Also for $2.99 you can buy my short story collection, a collection of 10 uh, short stories and a horror fantasy and realistic fiction genres. Uh, this story is in that collection. Uh, follow me on Twitter and re retweet uh, my tweets if you can. <laughs> and uh, check out my author's Facebook page as well. Links to all these will be provided on the description. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and comment to this channel if you're on YouTube. Or follow like, share, and comment on this channel if you're listening to this on SoundCloud. If you're listening to this on iTunes or Stitcher, please rate, review, and share this channel. So, we'll just uh, pick up where we left off last time. The next round begins, and Brick sits back and waits for Bob to attack. Bob stands in front of him and throws a jab that gets blocked. Brick counters with a flurry of looping hooks, and a few of them land cleanly. Bob covers up and blocks the rest of the flurry, and Brick steps, up, steps out of the pocket. His punches appear labored and do not have the power that they had in the first round. Don't just headhunt! Tyrone yells at Brick. Hearing what his coach said, Brick rushes in and throws looping body hooks. Leaving his face unprotected, Bob blocks the punches and throws a few jabs that keep him away. Brick still comes forward. And Bob clinches with him, but break away from each other after a few seconds of inactivity. Brick's hands lie next to his waist, and his heavy breathing could be heard by the few spectators watching. Bob throws a few feints, but the bell rings before he could do anything else. They go back to re their respective corners with Brick's shirt soaked with sweat and him breathing harder through his mouth. Tyrone tells him, You gotta just stay in it. Don't put everything into your punches, and don't forget to keep your hands up. He goes to Bob's corner and says, It's time to take it home. Tyrone signals the final round, and Bob throws a couple feints. He throws the occasional jab at Brick's body, and Brick just stands in place. What are you doing? Throw! Tyrone yells. Brick rushes in with looping hooks, and the first two connect cleanly, forcing Bob to clinch. They break the clinch, and Brick immediately throws a left hook to the body and a right hook to the head, which connects. Bob circles out of the way while Brick puts his hands on his hips and takes a deep breath. Bob throws a few more jabs to the body, and Brick takes one and counters with an overhand left. Seeing Bob backing up against the ropes, Brick uses what energy he has left to swarm him. He throws looping hooks to the head and body while not protecting his head with his free hand, and Bob covers up. The round ends when Tyrone yells, TIME! They touch gloves, and Brick immediately removes his equipment. Tyrone su says to him, Good job, man. You need to work on some things, but you made it through. Thanks, coach. Brick responds in a way where it sounds like he can't breathe. He goes to the restroom to change and wash up. When he's done, he grabs his bag and tells Bob, I'll see you at work. Don't worry, you're not going to get fired for punching your boss. Once he walks out the door and out of sight, Tyrone tells Bob, Hey, thanks for going easy on him. It must have been hard pulling back when he was so open. Well, he is my boss, so maybe he'd fire me or something if I went hard on him. He chuckles a bit. Seriously, though, I have nothing to prove by beating them up. I still gotta pick the right opponent for him. There aren't any people around his age and with no experience that want to get into the ring. He's not ready for someone with even a little experience. Well, I hope everything works out. Weeks pass, and the office party for the 8th floor begins after work. 
the big wig suits mingle amongst themselves in middle management. As everyone chats and gossips, Brick's boss, Lucas Garves, grabs some food and announces, Everyone, I need a moment of your time. All the employees stop chit-chatting and bring their attention to Lucas. We have employee, employee surveys coming up, and I can only hope that you all participate. They are anonymous, so whether you love us or hate us, we would like to know. We do actually look at these things and act upon them. After the announcement, the employees start to eat the sandwiches, fruits, and sides provided. As everyone eats, Lucas asks everyone, So guys, do you know what benefits have come to the company due to the employee survey? No one says anything. Brick comes in and says, It's changed the benefits that we get. Good one, Brick. But if I can have non-management answer, I'd feel better. No one answers. See, guys? This silence tells me that more employees need to do this survey. It's not for my benefit, but for yours. A brief silence overcomes the room. Well, enjoy the party, everyone. He walks back to the other bigwigs while everyone eats and chats. Fred approach approaches Bob and tells him quietly, Those guys are such suits. I mean, can't we just enjoy this party without having to bring work into it? It's their job, I guess. It wouldn't surprise me if they keep their suit on at home. They probably sleep in bed with their seat, tie, and dress shoes on, Bob says. Brick hollers to Bob. Hey, Bob, get over here. Surprised and unsure of what Brick wants, he cautiously approaches them. So, Bob and I here just had a sparring match a couple weeks ago. How did this come about? Lucas asked. That's all for today. If you like this, don't forget to subscribe, share, and comment to this channel if you're on YouTube. Or follow, like, share, and comment on this channel if you're listening to this on SoundCloud. If you're listening to this on iTunes or Stitcher, please rate, review, and share this channel. Thank you for listening to these readings. Next week, I will read pages 11 to 16 of The Orthodox Clash. And also have a manga review for Yuki Holder Volumes 1 to 3. Thank you, and until next time.